Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Well, let me show you here. I know I did a video here on the old corn crib about, no, about two weeks ago now, if I remember right. But um, we've been working on getting it cleaned out. And here on the north side, we're basically got everything all out of here. And um, same thing over on the south side. This morning, had a guy come out and he actually took off all of the inner well, they were one by fours that ran on the inside down through here because he wanted all that good old oak wood. And um, it was actually in really good shape. And so he took all that, might as well. And so the inside's basically all stripped out down, down to just the studs. So I got a few more odds and ends. That old pump motor right there, that's junk. I got a couple little buckets here for the bobcat I got to get out, and I'll probably take and, um, oh, I don't know, I may put them in the semi-trailer or stack them up over behind the grain bins, wait and see. But, um, yeah, so far, though, getting all, getting all, the, all the old junk cleaned out, that way we can take it down. Our one landlord this past Saturday brought over his small track hoe here, and, um, he was just kind of poking around at it just to see what it'd be like, but it didn't take much to knock a hole in the wall. And um, we want to keep that big old piece of tile. But um, yeah, so far though, making headway. And I'll be trying to take get video as we, we take it down here. My dad's going to be getting video also, so I'll probably try and get some clips from him. That way I can try and take an edit it all together. We do have some, uh, let's see here, like these old pallets, them are all junk. And then we also, oh, there in the upstairs part, we got a bunch of pallets laying up there we got to take and toss out. And then um, it'll be about ready to knock over and um, clean up. Then here on the inside, well, underneath the, the crib part itself, you got, we got to take and get that concrete down. I'll show you here on the north side. I just took a hammer and knocked a hole. What, a, what it appears to be is a, um, a slab of concrete with, a, with one row of blocks all the way around and a big rectangle. And then it's all filled up with dirt on the inside and then another slab of concrete over top that. And so um, hopefully it won't be too hard. Problem is that we do have wire, right? There you can see the wire in the concrete. So just have to wait and see what we get into. And we're trying to get everything all cleaned out. And we've gotten everything from up top, basically all taken down. There's still a few boards up there, but all the old piles that were upstairs, were, we've got them out. And if it works out tomorrow, we're hoping to take and push this thing down. And talk to a neighbor of mine, he's got a, he, he took one down years ago. And he said we should be able to take and can't, I'll use our backhoe and our landlord will use his excavator over there. And um, if we can kind of push right here on each one of these corners and try and just take it that way, that should knock it down. Hopefully, we'll wait and see. Well, I'm going to be trying to get video of that, and my dad's going to be trying to get video as well. And um, I'll tell, I'm going to try and get the video he takes and make part of this as well, also. So. But yeah, as you can see though, we've got pretty much all the middle cleaned out. Where the old cribs are, they're all cleaned out for the most part. And so, um, get it down, take all the old tin off, and um, get it all cleaned up, and they'll be ready for the new shed. As far as the concrete goes, My one neighbor who's a contractor, he said, um, depending on ground level, you're going across here like this, uh, we may actually just be able to leave that concrete right there. And I'm just gonna be taking, put dirt clear over top of it. And um, because the ground slopes from north and it goes down. And so just have to see what we get into. But yeah, like I say, I want to try and get some video clips of that, and so that way I can show you what's happening.
All right, guys, it's, it's the next day, and so everything if everything goes as planned, we're hoping to take and knock this crib down, down this morning. And um, like I've already showed you, we'll be just we're just going to take and push on the the end corners about right in that area, and same place over there, and just take, trying to just take and shove it all to the west, and hopefully it'll knock knock down and drop. A neighbor of mine told me that um, they took an old crib down that way, and um, he said it would, act, and it makes sense, it would actually go easier going long ways as opposed to trying to go back and forth. And since um, a lot of the inside boards are already off, that takes a lot of the strength out. And so hopefully we can get, get it knocked down. And so here in a little bit, we're going, um, uh, our one landlord's going to come over and um, uh, he'll be running his um, ex small excavator. And I'll be out here at the backhoe and... Um, like I say, he'll push on one corner, I'll push on the other corner, and we'll see what happens. Dad's going to be trying to get video of it, and I'm going to try and video it as I'm doing it um, in the backhoe. And then I'll take and get all those video clips, try and add them to this. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Okay guys, here we go. Take too long. He can do a lot more with that track hoe than I can at the back of it.
excavator makes quick work of it. Take that pin off also. Perfect. Okay, there's looking from the south side and over here the roof's all the way down. That worked out pretty good. Same with a clamshell bucket. That red flag right there, that's for the corner of the new shed. Got a piece stuck on my bucket, don't want to come off. There we go. Well, it's taking shape. I'm getting that guy's trailer loaded. And um, got the excavator running. I'll say one thing, that excavator is making short work of this project. Well, that's got the north part of the roof tin all taken off. Now he's over at the track hoe on the south side taking that tin off. Got a nice tree glue all packed on there. That works also. Well, that made short work of it. The old crib is down. I got a neighbor that, um, he actually wants to take a lot of that old crib wood for firewood, so that'll, that'll work. So what we're doing, we're just kind of smashing it down, breaking it up for him, and then he'll be bringing his dump trailer and then he's also going to use our dump trailer right over there and start hauling it home and 
That'll save us from burning it. We're perfect. I want to take and kind of shove the us back up on that concrete and get down my way. I just got to watch your nails poke my tires. There we go. Look at that. Hey, that works. I also have a, um, a root rake that I made for this backhoe years ago. I may actually use that to kind of clean up some of this. Wait and see. And he's actually just ripping that stuff up and breaking it with the track hoe because that's exactly what, what my neighbor that wants to use this for firewood wants. And so that works perfect. I just got to watch nails stuck up. Don't poke a tire. Okay, well, we've got it all busted down pretty good. Now I'm going to start loading it up in that dump trailer. And that way my neighbor can start taking it off. I got that trailer loaded and the old crib of course is down and so like i say we're my neighbor wants all this here for firewood and so that'll work, that'll work out perfect so we'll just keep loading it up on dump trailers and hauling up to his way and dumping it off and um that worked pretty good just gotta watch for nails and boards you don't end up stepping on one or driving over something but yeah i'm flattened down pretty good and we didn't get out here in the bean field so that made it nice also okay guys well i think i'm gonna call that an end of this video let's let you see what it looks like around here and what we've been up to so take care thanks a lot for watching We'll see you next time.